building your real life app with Logic Apps. In this section, we're going to be learning how to connect Twitter to Google Sheets. We'll also be following this by sending a special email based on data in Google Sheets. We'll also look at updating records in Salesforce with Logic Apps, as well as RSS feeds and conditional logic. All of these are very simple recipes that you can use in real life and a great start to introduce you to Logic Apps. Connect Twitter to Google Sheets. In this video, we're going to be creating a Logic App where we will follow a specific Twitter handle and run a special API from Microsoft called Text Analytics to detect the key phrases and sentiment from those tweets and upload it to Google Sheets. We can then analyze this data within Google Sheets. So let's open up Azure and create a new Logic App. Fill in the details and create a blank Logic App. So within the Logic Apps Designer, our first trigger is going to be Twitter. We have one option, when a tweet is posted. So sign in with your Twitter account. You can also set the frequency for how often you would like it to check. Once we've done that, we are ready for the next action. So now we want to use a text analytics service. If you haven't created one yet, you can do this on the dashboard. Click on the plus sign and search in the box for text analytics. All you need to do here is read the terms and services and click create. So if you go back to your Logic Apps Designer, select text analytics, and the first action we will select is to detect sentiment. You will need to add a connection name and also you need the account key. The account key you can find underneath your text analytic by clicking here show access keys, and copy the first key. Once it's copied, go back to your Logic Apps Designer and paste it in here, and click on Create. So we now need to specify the Twitter text for our API to detect the sentiment on. At this time, we don't need to have any advanced options. We can just select New Step. So we can add another action here as well. We can also get our Logic App to identify key phrases. So let's create an action on the tweet text. Use Text Analytics again and select key phrases. The text to analyze again will be the tweet text. Next, we can instruct that this data needs to be uploaded into Google Sheets by inserting a row. The only thing you need to do first is that you need to have a sheet set up in Google. You also need to specify what headings you would like to capture. Once this is done, it's very simple to go back to the Logics App Designer and add this Google Sheet to your workflow. Look for the Google Sheets connector and let's select Insert Row as an action. So choose the file that you want to have the row inserted. And choose the worksheet. Once you have selected this, you can then fill in exactly what data you would like under each column. For the sentiment, we need to specify the score. So now we have specified the data we wish to be added as a row under each of the column headings. So the Logic App is basically done. All you need to do is save your Logic App and then click Run. So this specific Logic App, when it has been running for a couple of hours, you should get quite a lot of inputs and they've all been put row by row per tweet. Now the beauty of this is that you can also do a lot of analysis based on the information that's been extracted. Within Google Sheets, you can also click on the Explore button and do an analysis based on the information that you have required. So you can see, based on this Logic App workflow, that it is very easy to extract information from Twitter and follow the information that you wish to follow by putting it into Google, Google Sheets. So as you can see, based on our workflow, it is very simple to be able to extract data from Twitter, be able to run sophisticated APIs such as detect sentiment and key phrases on this data, and upload it into Google Sheets for analysis. So in summary, we've explained how we design a Logic App to extract tweets from Twitter, use the Detect Text API from Microsoft, and insert this data into Google Sheets 
which you can then use for further analysis.